Question 90.17. Questioner, is Ra familiar with the archetypical mind of some other logos that is not the same as the one we experience? Answer, I am Ra. There are entities of Ra which have served as far wanderers to those of another logos. The experience has been one which staggers the intellectual and intuitive capacities, for each logos sets up an experiment enough at variance from all others that the subtleties of the archetypical mind of another logos are most murky to the resonating mind, body, and spirit complexes of this logos. Question 90.18 Questioner, there seems to have been created by this logos, to me anyway, a large percentage of entities whose distortion was towards warfare. There have been the Moldek and Mars experiences and now Earth. It seems that Venus was the exception to what we could almost call the rule of warfare. Is this correct and was this envision them planned into the construction of the archetypical mind, possibly not with respect to warfare as we have experienced it but as to the extreme action of polarization in consciousness? Answer, I am Ra. It is correct that the Logos designed its experiment to attempt to achieve the greatest possible opportunities for polarization in third density. It is incorrect that warfare of the type specific to your experiences was planned by the Logos. This form of expression of hostility is an interesting result which is apparently concomitant with the tool-making ability. The choice of the Logos to use the life form with the grasping thumb is the decision to which this type of warfare may be traced. Question 90.19 Questioner, then did our Logos hope to see generated a positive and negative harvest from each density up to the sixth, starting with the third, as being the most efficient form of generating experience known to it at the time of its construction of this system of evolution? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 90.20 Questioner, then built into the basis for the archetypes is possibly the mechanism for creating the polarization in consciousness for service to others and service to self. Is this, in fact, true? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. You will notice the many inborn biases which hint to the possibility of one path's being more efficient than the other. This was the design of the Logos. Question 90.21 Questioner, then what you are saying is that once the path is recognized, either the positive or the negative polarized entity can find hints along his path as to the efficiency of their path. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. That which you say is correct upon its own merits, but is not a repetition of our statement. Our suggestion was that within the experiential nexus of each entity within its second density environment and within the roots of mind there were placed biases indicating to the watchful eye the more efficient of the two paths. Let us say, for want of a more precise adjective, that this logos has a bias towards kindness. Question 90.22 Questioner, then you say that the more efficient of the two paths was suggested in a subliminal way to second density to be the service to others path. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. We did not state which was the more efficient path. However, you are correct in your assumption, as you are aware from having examined each path in some detail in previous querying. Question 90.23 Questioner, could this be the reason for the greater positive harvest? I suspect that it isn't but would there be logwa that have greater negative percentage harvests because of this type of biasing? Answer, I am Ra. No. There have been Logwa with greater percentages of negative harvests. However, the biasing mechanisms cannot change the requirements for achieving harvestability either in the positive or in the negative sense. They are Logwa which have offered a neutral background against which to polarize. This Logos chose not to do so but instead to allow more of the love and light of the Infinite Creator to be both inwardly and outwardly visible and available to the sensations and conceptualizations of mind, body, spirit complexes undergoing its care in experimenting. Question 90.24 Questioner, were there any other circumstances, biases, consequences or plans set up by the Logos other than those we have discussed for the evolution of its parts through the densities? Answer, I am Ra. Yes. Question 90.25. Questioner, what were these? Answer, I am Ra. 
one more, that is, the permeability of the densities so that there may be communication from density to density and from plane to plane or subdensity to subdensity. Question 90.26. Questioner, then as I see the plan for the evolution by this logos it was planned to create as vivid an experience as possible but also one which was somewhat informed with respect to the infinite creator and able to accelerate the progress as a function of will because of the permeability of densities. Have I covered accurately the general plan of this logos with respect to its evolution? Answer, I am Ra. Accepting the actions of the unmanifested self and the actions of self with other self, you have been reasonably thorough. Question 90.27. Questioner, then, is the major mechanism forming the ways and very essence of the experience that we presently experience here the archetypical mind and the archetypes? Answer, I am Ra. These resources are a part of that which you refer to. Question 90.28. Questioner, what I am really asking is what percentage of the part, roughly, are these responsible for? Answer, I am Ra. We ask once again that you consider that the archetypical mind is a part of the deep mind. There are several portions to this mind. The mind may serve as a resource. To call the archetypical mind the foundation of experience is to oversimplify the activities of the mind, body, spirit complex. To work with your query as to percentages is, therefore, enough misleading in any form of direct answer that we would ask that you re-question. Question 90.29. Questioner, that's okay I don't think that was too good to question anyway. When Ra initially planned for helping the Egyptians with their evolution, what was the primary concept, and also secondary and tertiary if you can name those, that Ra wished to impart to the Egyptians? In other words, what was Ra's training plan or schedule for making the Egyptians aware of what was necessary for their evolution? Answer, I am Ra. We came to your peoples to enunciate the law of one. We wished to impress upon those who wished to learn of unity that in unity all paradoxes are resolved, all that is broken is healed, all that is forgotten is brought to light. We had no teaching plan, as you have called it, in that our intention when we walked among your peoples was to manifest that which was requested by those learned teachers to which we had come. We are aware that this particular line of querying, that is, the nature and architecture of the archetypical mind, has caused the questioner to attempt, to its own mind unsuccessfully, to determine the relative importance of these concepts. We cannot learn teach for any, nor would we take this opportunity from the questioner. However, we shall comment. The adept has already worked much, not only within the red, orange, yellow and green energy centers but also in the opening of blue and indigo. Up through this point the archetypes function as the great base or plinth of a builded structure or statue keeping the mind complex viable, level, and available as a resource whenever it may be evoked. There is a point at which the adept takes up its work. This is the point at which a clear and conscious consideration of the archetypical mind is useful. Question 90.30 Questioner, I have an observation on archetype number one made by, name, and I request comment on it by Ra. I will read it. The matrix of the mind is the conscious mind and is sustained by the power of the spirit as symbolized by the star which flows to it through the subconscious mind. It contains the will which is signified by the scepter of power in the magician's hand. All of creation is made through the power of the will directed by the conscious mind of the magician, and the bird in the cage represents the illusion in which the self seems trapped. The magician represents minus all the radiance of being manifested as the creation through which each entity moves. Answer, I am Ra. As this instrument is becoming somewhat weary we shall not begin this considerable discussion. We would request that this series of observations be repeated at the outset of the next working. We would suggest that each concept be discussed separately or, if appropriate, a pair of concepts be related one to the other within the concept complex. This is slow work but shall make the eventual building of the concept complexes more smoothly accomplished. Were we to have answered the observations as read by you at this space-time, as much space-time would have been given to the untangling of various concepts as to the building up of what were very thoughtful perceptions. May we ask if there are any brief queries at this time? Question 90.31 Questioner, 
Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. It is well that the appliances for the arms were placed upon the instrument. We ask that continued vigilance be accorded these distortions which are, if anything, more distorted towards disease than at our previous cautionary statement. All is well, my friends, you are conscientious and faithful in your alignments. We appreciate your fastidiousness. I am Ra. I leave you now, rejoicing merrily in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.